I was born in Istanbul in Turkey of Armenian parents. I'm 100% Armenian. And um, we lived there for uh, until I was about 12 years old. And then uh, the, uh, uh, there was some antagonistic movement against the Christians. Greeks particularly, but it spilled over to all Christians. So um, my dad, you know, uh, wasn't, didn't feel comfortable or safe for our family to continue to live there. So um, we immigrated. Later, later in life, um, Sister Anne Josephine, who was a very good friend of mine, uh, in, in when I was state of mission to the Tri Cities, she taught me how to make towels, crocheted towels that she used to make, and I'm a little bit famous in community for it because every single year for the past almost since the boutique started, um, I've made dozens and dozens for the boutique, and people like it because I use a certain kind of towels and certain kind of, you know, pattern. My interest in photography um, came from me, I think, because my parents were not really, my dad never did it, my mom never did it, but um, I love beauty, so uh, when I was outdoors, and I'm an outdoor person, um, I just, like the camera, started doing it, and uh, so I'm a shutterbug, you know, I love taking pictures, and uh, I love blowing them up, making cards with them and everything. So that's been a very good um, craft for me, if you will. I taught myself how to cross stitch and do this kind of, of work for, um, just because I just like my hands to be busy and create things. I learned toll painting this painting on the wood uh, as an adult. Uh, Sister Kathleen Andrew Ross uh, was really very, very good at it. And uh, we knew a lady together who uh, taught Kathleen's friend, she was Kathleen's friend, and, and taught her how to go about it. And so she pulled me into it and I started learning how to toll paint from this older friend of ours. When I think of people and occasions. Um, not everybody likes pictures, not everybody likes, you know, towels. And um, so I, I just try to think ahead and say, well, well, what would this person like and what would be nice? And even for the boutique, I say to myself, you know, what would work, what would go? For example, when I do it, uh, a crocheting for lace, um, as the piece becomes more and more um, noticeable, you know, bigger. When it's little, you can't really tell. But as I'm working with it, um, I, it's something happens inside of me that it's, you know, it's beauty, it's fulfilling. It reminds me of our sisters, even though it's not tatting, it's crocheting, but still it's lace. And it reminds me of our sisters. And it reminds me really of my grandma. My mother's mother used to crochet profusely with no pattern, no nothing. She would actually take the crochet and create it. And I used to watch her with, you know, with glee. So um, it's just, you know, diff fills different spots in me, I think. <laughs>